In this lesson, we're going to render some of the components of your home. The tabs across the top, we're going to select the Render tab. We're going to go into the Materials Browser. In AutoCAD, AutoCAD gives you a various amount of materials. Within the Home tab, we're going to hit the little plus. We're going to go to the Autodesk Materials. We're going to scroll down for our first example into Roofing. And you'll see on the right side that there are various materials for roofing. If you can't see exactly what type they are, we can move the window a little over and we can stretch out the window a little bit more to expose three bars, fly down, and select thumbnail view to give us a larger image. For this example, I'm going to select hand split shapes. We're going to click and hold our left mouse button over the material. And we're going to drag it over to our tool palette as a painter would add paint to their palette. If we scroll down underneath our content browser, you can see the hand split shakes are now available. I'm going to go to the home tab and go back to a southeast isometric, and I do need to turn back on my roofing layer. Click. I'm going to also go to the realistic visual style. And you can see some of my components are already rendered automatically. I'm going to select the hand split shakes, click, and AutoCAD wants me to recognize that I'm using this material, and I'll select OK. This material is not saved for this drawing. So I need to save this drawing. I'm going to select close and I'm going to select the little save disk icon. Now I'm going to select shake and split with a single left click. I'm going to single left click on my roof. And you can see my roof is now rendered. I'm going to render my walls by moving throughout and selecting wall coverings or wall paint, or wood, or stone, or stucco, depending on the type of exterior you'd like on your home. I'm going to select underneath roofing. I'm going to select siding. Because it's a cabin, I'm going to scroll down and select something like split log that would look nice for a cabin. Click hold and drag over to your tool palette. And in the same manner, you're going to have to save this material for this drawing. If I selected split log, you're going to see that it wants to create this material for this drawing, and it's going to give me the same message stating that I should save my drawing first. Select save, select split log, and select my wall. Select enter. And you can see now my log cabin is an actual log cabin. You can get as detailed as zooming up and creating specific material for your, in this case, door jam. Since it's available, I'm just going to select this green metal, click hold, and drag, and go through the same process. Scroll down, click, OK, close, save, click on the metal, and click on my door jam, and select enter. You can get fairly detailed with the rendering capabilities of AutoCAD. This ends the lesson of render.